Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by A.G. Hines Company. For 100 years, the biggest and best construction companies in East Tennessee have gotten their building materials from A.G. Hines Company. You can, too. For cutting-age materials and for the perfect tools for your home project, check out A.G. Hines Company. You can go to their website. You can call that number right there. Or you can go visit them, and the street's easy to remember. It's Hines Street in downtown Knoxville. When you've been around a century, you get streets named after you. A.G. Hines Company. All right. Here's a guy that's been around for 100 years on our show, <laughs> Chuck Cavalleras. Chuck, longtime sports writer. Chuck, thanks for being here. Thanks, no, great. My pleasure. All right. Um, Trey Smith, so good as a freshman, uh, and the, the hype went sky high. I mean, Cole Kublik, the SEC uh, network analyst, former Auburn lineman, he was high on Smith in the beginning. I think he called him the best lineman in the SEC as a freshman. And I don't know that, that Trey Smith ever was able to live up to that hype. Was that a product of the fact that you had the blood clot issue and then the second issue, which was supposedly clots, and then they came back and said, no, no, that wasn't clots, that was something else. Did his lack of practice time impact his development? What was the reason that teams looked at him and said, well, we're going to pass all the way down to the sixth round? This, this is a guy who uh, Vol fans, I think, were looking at a couple of years ago as first or second round talent. He went to the advisory board last year, and they give you three grades, first round, second round, or you need to go back to college. And they told him last year, you need to go back to college. And I'm not sure that the advisory board takes into account everybody's medical history, which suggests based on your play, right. you might not have been first or second round. So why did this happen? How did it happen that he would fall this far? Where, where's your line in terms of how much of it's medical and how much of it is just he didn't develop as we expected? Well, I think the big part of it is the medical. And what that did is it took him off of a number of teams' draft boards. I was told about half the teams did not have him on their board. Other teams had him on their board but docked him and dropped him some. And clearly that was probably what a lot of teams did because he was passed in the draft and didn't go to the sixth. The, most, the, the part of it that is, it maybe isn't being discussed enough is the medical in this year's draft was very difficult to get. That information was either not available up until the draft or very late. So I think the NFL, I, I know the NFL had difficulty getting clearance about what his medical situation is. If they could do the same plan that Tennessee did while I was here. Another factor is practice. Yes. You kind of alluded yeah. to the development. Yeah. Yeah. He, he practiced, what, twice two years ago, yeah. uh, total twice for the week. year, yeah. twice a week last yeah. year. You can't do that in the NFL. Correct. You have to be able to practice. So that lack of practice hurt his development and slipped him from what was, Scout told me, he would have been, after his freshman year, a top 10 pick. Then. Yes. This year, had he been clean, he said he would have been a second round pick. Clean, no medical issues. So yes, he dropped some because of the lack of development, but the medical was once set him free falling because he was off so many teams' boards. Chuck? Yeah, I mean, I thought when the evaluations that you looked at, you're, you're looking at an exceptional run blocker, one of the strongest offensive linemen in the draft, but could not play left tackle. And the NFL, I think, is in love with tackles that can block edge rushers. I don't think the guard position has got a huge priority. And I think, believe it or not, some of the NFL teams, according to Charles Davis, the closer it got to the draft, the more and more surprises they seemed to have, the more concerns. Was it practice time? Oh, the blood clots from 2018? You know, to me, that is, that is really, really surprising. But I think there was a number of things that worked against him. But goodness gracious, Trey Smith is better than a sixth-round pick. Yeah, I think the Chiefs got a, you know, a, if his health is fine, I think they got a, a heck of a steal with the sixth-round pick. Uh, Josh, this is a guy who uh, was all SEC by the coaches last year, all American on a couple of lists. Pro Football Focus graded him as about the 50th best guard in the country. He mm -hmm. was very average in terms of their view. Uh, from watching him last year and watching Tennessee's offensive line, I know I didn't look at their line and say, uh, first rounder. I didn't see that anywhere. Uh, where are you on Trey Smith? Because it's, it, I think he's a, a great story. I think he deserves all the love and affection Vol fans can give him. I think he got screwed in the draft. But I also don't know that he lived up to the hype, which again may have been and probably was impacted by the the, the practice issues and the health issues. 
Yeah, and it's probably difficult to just at the guard position. I think Chuck's right there. That not being a tackle probably affects him that his position is not valued enough by the NFL teams. I also honestly think they just make stupid decisions sometimes, and they overthink a lot of what they do in the draft and really struggle to uh, compare value to what the reward can really be if something works out. Uh, fourth, fifth, sixth round pick. Uh, but I, I think it's easily medical. I, and uh, with Trey, I think they also look at it like he didn't play games over the last couple of years. He was still right. out there. He was still playing football yeah. for Tennessee the last couple of years. So uh, I think the Chiefs are a big winner here because I think the, the reward could be that he is a good quality starter for years. The, the downside would be that maybe he doesn't make it, but he's a six-round pick. So he lands in a really good offense, one of the best offensive coaches ever in Andy Reid. So uh, he wanted to go higher. It can still really work out for Trey going to Kansas City. And that's a Chiefs line that is being turned over this year. I mean, yeah, they've right. changed out their tackles already. So uh, I think in, if, you're, if you're looking for a silver lining in the cloud bank that was his draft decline, it would have to be that I think he landed in a pretty good spot. Agreed? Yeah. You guys agree you landed in a good spot? Well, they, they brought in one of your former Patriots in Joe Tooney. Yeah. And then they also brought Kyle Long back out of retirement. Remember, opt-out of L Laurent Tardif uh, uh, DuVernay, he's back this year. So there's going to be some, some depth and some competition there. Um, and another thing with, with Trey Smith is they pegged him as more of a gap power gap scheme type of guard. So not only are you just a guard, now you're a guard that they see you better in a power fit for some offenses. Some that run on the perimeter maybe wasn't as big right. of a fit. But that in the NFL, you have to a weakness, be. Yeah. Right. So, so then you're shrinking the number of teams that are available for him as well. And here's another thing with the medical is that that's, that is more difficult for the NFL to handle because they don't have control of it. Like the whole, they know the answers when guys get in trouble with the law. They yeah. know what, the, what happened. With medical, they don't. And that lack of power control, I think, impacts guys. Good place for him to land. Yo, yes, yes. And, and I think there was only a handful of teams that really would have been a, a, a good fit. The Bears were terrible on the offensive line. Yeah. Why did the Giants, did the Giants think about him with Jeremy Pruitt now? I wondered that. What was the Jeremy Pruitt opinion of Trey Smith? Because I would have thought it would have been very high. And the Giants went after some offensive he, line. He apparently started well with day one down at the Senior Bowl and then yeah. trailed off. So you wonder what people saw there. And I would love to know what they saw in the medical records that we haven't seen here as well. But it's an interesting case. Hopefully he makes it and sticks and has a long career despite uh, what had to have been a really, really disappointing draft weekend for Trey Smith. All right, when we come back. Let's talk about the Vols and their talent level. Uh, we do a chart every year. I'll show it to you. Tennessee now at a three-decade low in terms of the talent they're pumping into the NFL. We'll break that down, how that works, and also talk about how long it's going to take to turn it around. Come on back on the sports week.